Praise the Lord, everyone. We are so excited to finish our series on how to be a Bible-centered leader. Slava Gospodu svima i uh, sretni smo što evo uh, danas ćemo zaključiti naše lekcije o biblijskom vodstvu. Today's lesson is a very important lesson. We're going to talk about how to finish well as a leader. Današnja lekcija je veoma važna lekcija i ona glasi kako završiti dobro kao vođa. It's important to begin to start as a leader correctly and it's of course important to continue as a leader um, spiritually and um, just to be a godly Bible-centered leader. Uh, veoma je važno uh, započeti korektno, odnosno dobro kao vođa i naravno nastaviti u tom smeru dobro kao duhovan vođa. But it's very important and very difficult to continue to be a good, successful spiritual leader throughout your lifetime. Ali nekad je veoma teško stvarno nastaviti biti uspešan vođa, duhovan vođa kroz čitav svoj život. So this is what we want to talk about and go into the Word of God to study today. But before we begin, let's open with a word of prayer. O ovome ćemo danas govoriti jer je to smatramo veoma važno, ali prije nego što krenemo u ovu lekciju, hajde najpre da se pomolimo. Sve mogući, gospode i Bože naš, mi i danas dolazimo pred Tvoje lice u ime gospoda Isusa Hrista i molimo Te za sve one dobre stvari koje Ti imaš za nas, Čak i upozorenja koja imaš za nas kroz tvoju reč, da nam ih podariš, gospode, i da otvoriš naš um i našu dušu kako bi mogli razumeti tvoju volju, ali ne samo razumeti i e, poslušati je, gospode, nego biti poslušan do kraja. U tome smo svesni da sami od sebe ne možemo i trebamo tvoju pomoć i zato te i molimo da nam pomogneš i predajemo se u tvoje ruke u ime Gospoda Isusa Hrista. Amen. Amen. My friends, our goal as leaders of God's people is to hear the words well done, thou good and faithful servant that is found in Matthew chapter 25 verse 21. Dragi prijatelji, naš cilj kao vođe je, koji smo usredsredjeni na reč Božju, da čujemo reči bravo slugo moj, dobri i verni, koju nalazimo u Mateju 25. glave 21. stih. Please remember, when we talk about being a successful leader, we are speaking about uh, a spiritual life. We are speaking about being a leader that is centered on the principles of God's word. Uh, se, kada govorimo o duhovnom obočstvu, na prvom mestu mislimo uh, taj uh, duhovan uh, aspekt svega toga, uh, ljudi koji su sredsredjeni na principe Božje reči. You can go to many different sources to find principles and ideas on how to be a good leader. Možete pronaći mnoge, mnoge izvore gdje ćete pročitati kako biti uspješan i dobar vođa. You can go to watch videos, you can read books and even read about how to finish well as a leader in the business world or any other part of life. Možete gledati video, možete čitati knjige i pronaći razno razne dakle, stvari gdje možete saznati kako biti uspješan vođa. But because we are studying on how to be a Bible-centered leader, we are going to look at the examples of leaders in the pages of the Bible. Ali zbog toga što smo mi uh, počeli uh, i usredsredili se na Bibliju i osnovni nam je cilj biti uspešan vođa koji je usredsredjen na Bibliju, uh, pogledat ćemo dakle šta ona o ovome uči. Let's first look at 
one leader in the Bible, and he's usually found in 2 Kings chapter 18 through 20, the name Hezekiah, king of Judah. Pogledajmo najprej na jednog vođu koji, koga nalazimo zapisanog u, u Starom Zavetu, a to je u drugoj kraljevima uh, od 18. do 20. glave, a to je kralje Jezekija. Hezekiah was the son of a, a wicked king named Ahaz and he reigned over Judah for 29 years. Jezekija je bio uh, sin jednog uh, lošeg uh, čoveka i uh, za dve, 29 godina on je uh, vladao Judom. The scriptures tell us that Hezekiah was more committed to the ways of God than any of the kings that went before him. Pismo kaže da je Jezekija bio um, posvećen da ispunjava ono što je Božja volja više uh, nego li uh, kada se uporedo sa drugim kraljevima. Throughout his reign as king, Hezekiah had many accomplishments and did many great things for God. Kroz uh, čitav svoj život kao kralj, uh, on je načinio mnoga dobra dela i mnogo je postigao kao uh, bogobojazan kralj. He turned the heart of the people away from the wicked things and sin and turned them toward God and did many great things uh, for the people of God and the kingdom of Judah. On je odvratio srca mnogih ljudi sa zlih puteva i vratio ih natrag uh, gospodu i uradio mnogo dobre stvari za judu. He destroyed the pagan altars and destroyed the idols and cleaned up the temples and got rid of all the wickedness in the land. Očistio je hram, oč, uh, uništio mnoge uh, paganske uh, idole i, i njihova svetišta i uh, posvetio je taj narod prema gospodu. The temple in Jerusalem, which his father had nailed the door shut, Hezekiah opened it up and cleaned it out and it began, began making offerings to the Lord. Jezekija je otvorio vrata uh, gospodnjeg doma koji je prije njega, njegov otac zatvorio i otvorio je ta vrata kako bi narod mogao dolaziti i tamo prinositi žrtve gospodu. The holy priesthood was reinstated and uh, the um, Passover was reinstated as a national holiday. I svi sveštenici su ponovo bili posvećeni i pasha i pashalna uh, žrtvovanje je bilo obnovljeno uh, kao uh, osnovni uh, um, praznik za taj narod. The book of Second Chronicles tells us in verse uh, chapter 32 it tells us about how Hezekiah blocked up the Gion spring and made a waterway going into Jerusalem. And it's still there today. I u drugom uh, drugoj dnevnicima 20. glavi nam govori kako je on uh, zatvorio i usmerio taj uh, potok Gihon uh, i usmerio te vode prema Jerusalimu što je i do dana današnjega. This water channel um, was a masterpiece of architecture and uh, people still marvel at what Hezekiah was able to accomplish. I ovaj kanal je stvarno jedno remek delo i do dana današnjeg ljudi se čude kako Jezekija je to uspeo da uradi. God honored and prospered Hezekiah and Judah because Hezekiah put God first in everything that he did. Bog je na neki način uh, dao čast Jezekiji i, i Judi na osnovu toga sve što su oni uradili za gospoda. Look what's said about him in 2 Kings chapter 18 verses 6 and 7. I pogledajmo šta pismo kaže, šta je on, uh, šta pismo kaže o njemu u drugoj kraljevima 18. glavi 6. do i 7. stih. It says that he held fast to the Lord and did not stop following him. He kept the commands the Lord had given to Moses, and the Lord was with him, and he was successful in whatever he undertook. 
Držao se gospoda i nije odstupio od njega, nego se držao uputstava koje je gospod dao Mojsiju. Gospod je bio s Jezekijom koji je postupao razborito u svemu što je radio. Most of Hezekiah's life is an example of faithfulness to God and a trust in God. Većinu života koje je Jezekija proživeo pred gospodom bilo je u vernosti i pouzdanju u njega. And Hezekiah's trust in God was rewarded with many answered prayers and many miraculous victories over his enemies. I to pouzdanje koje je Jezekija imao prema gospodu bilo je nagrađeno s time što je gospod njemu dao mnogo pobjeda i mnogo pobjeda nad svojim neprijateljima. In 2 Kings chapter 18 and 19 we read about what was an impossible situation that Hezekiah was able to uh, pray to God and see a great victory. U uh, drugoj kraljevima uh, 18. i 19. glave možemo pročitati uh, kako je gospod stvarno odgovorio na tu molitvu i učinio ono što je bilo čak možda i um, teško zaverovati da će se desiti. When they were surrounded by this Assyrian army, Hezekiah did the right thing. He prayed unto God and God answered his prayer. Kada su oni bili okruženi tom sirijskom vojskom, Jezekija se molio gospodu i gospod je dao, on je uradio tu pravu stvar i dao im je pobedu nad njima. But soon after this miracle, Hezekiah became very sick and the prophet Isaiah came to visit him and told him to put things in order in his life. Ali odmah nakon ove pobede, Jezekija je veoma teško oboleo i Izaja je došao kod njega i rekao mu da stvarno um, on um, na, um, napravi reda u svom domu i u svom životu jer će uskoro umreti. Isaiah said that the Lord has told us that you are going to die, Hezekiah, and you must prepare to end your life and get your life in order. Uh, Izaija je rekao, uh, Jezekija, uh, ti ćeš uskoro umreti i zato uh, sredi svoj dom, sredi svoj život i uh, uradi ono što je ispravno. But Hezekiah prayed and begged God to have mercy on him and remember all the good things that he had done. Jezekija je se molio gospodu tražio uh, srčano od njega da se seti šta je uradio za gospoda dobre stvari i da ga isceli. In fact, let's just read this in 2 Kings chapter 20, verse 5 through 7. U, ali hajde da pročitamo o tim stvarima u drugoj kraljevima 20. poglavlje 5. do 7. stiha. The Lord said to Isaiah, return and tell Hezekiah, the leader of my people, This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, uh, God of David, your father, has said, I have heard your prayer. I have seen your tears. Surely I will heal you. On the third day you shall go up to the house of the Lord, and I will add to your days 15 years. I will deliver you in this city from the hand of the king of Assyria, and I will defend this city for my own sake and for the sake of my servant David. Prati se i reci Jezeki i vođi mog naroda, ovako kaže gospod, Bog Davida, tvog pravca. Čuo sam tvoju molitvu i video sam tvoje suze. Evo, izlečit ću te i za tri dana ići ćeš u gospodni dom. Dodaću tvom životu 15 godina i izbavit ću tebe i ovaj grad iz ruke kralja Asirije i branit ću ovaj grad radi sebe i radi Davida svog sluge. Now remember that Hezekiah, when he got his answered prayer, he was only 39 years old when he was told he would die. Setimo se, Ezekija je imao samo 39 godina kada mu je bilo rečeno da će umreti. When we speak of finishing well as a leader, we often think about a person that is very old and at the end of their life. 
Kada govorimo o tome da vođa treba dobro da završi, u svojim mislima nekako imamo predstavu da je taj vođa već ostario i kao star treba dobro da završi. But here is an example of finishing well being the result of a lifetime of practice disciplines before the Lord. Ali ovdje vidimo da završiti dobro znači disciplinovano kroz život ići i na taj način disciplinovano završiti život. It's so interesting to me that Hezekiah was told that he would live for 15 more years by the Lord and he believed what the Lord had said. Interesantno mi je primetiti da je Ezekija od gospoda dobio da će još 15 godina narednih živeti i on je to prihvatio. Now I want you to think about that. If you were told that you had 15 years to live, how would you live those 15 years? I želim da zamislite sada tu situaciju. Ako bi vama bilo rečeno da ćete živjeti još 15 godina, kako bi tih 15 godina proživjeli? Remember, to this point, Hezekiah had been a godly man. He had been a, a wonderful, successful leader of God's people. Setimo se, do ovog trenutka on je bio stvarno jedan pobožan, um, dobar vođa, koji je se trudio da udovolji gospodu u svemu. But almost immediately after his healing, Hezekiah began to slide into finishing his life as a leader very poorly. Ali odmah nakon što je dobio od gospoda odgovor da dobija još 15 godina života, on je na neki način skliznuo i počeo u svom životu da ide nadole. When the Babylonians heard that Hezekiah was sick, they sent messengers with gifts to Hezekiah. Kada su Babilonci čuli da je Jezekija bolestan, oni su poslali svoje ljude sa darovima da ga obiđu. And he was filled with pride and he showed the Babylonians his enemy. He showed them all the treasures of Judah and all of their weapons. Kada su oni došli, on je u svojom oholosti njima pokazao svoje bogatstvo, bogatstvo jude i isto tako i na oružanje jude. And God used the prophet Isaiah to rebuke Hezekiah and prophesy to him that he would lose all of those treasures, even his own son, as a result of what he had done. I Izaija je bio od gospoda poslan da ga ukori. Gospod mu je rekao da će svo to blago biti odnešeno u Vavilon i da će čak i njegovi sinovi umreti. Now, I want you to notice, I want you to read in 2 Kings chapter 20 verse 19 the reply of Hezekiah to the prophecy and rebuke of the Lord. Želim da sami pročitate šta je bio njegov odgovor na osnovu toga što je Izaja doneo ukor od gospoda. Verse 19, so Hezekiah said to Izaja, the word of the Lord which you have spoken is good. For he said, will there not be peace and truth at least in my lifetime? Druga kraljevima, 20. glava, 19. stih, tada Jezekija reče Izaji, dobra je gospodnja reč koju si rekao, zatim reče, dobra je, jer će mir i istina trajati celog mog života. Isn't this amazing that he would be prophesied that he would lose his life and lose all of the kingdom, but... It did not matter to him because he would not be alive to see this happen. Zar to nije čudno? Tek je čuo tu poruku da će izgubiti svoje sinove, da će izgubiti svoje carstvo i bogatstvo, ali njega to nije brinulo jer je on bio svestan da neće biti živ u to vreme. So here we see some of the barriers for a leader to finish well that are evident in the life of Hezekiah, like arrogance and pride and not caring about future generations. 
Ovde vidimo te prepreke na koji način mi ne završavamo dobro kao vođe, a to je oholost, možda uzvišenost i nestaranje se za budućnost i za buduće generacije. But perhaps the worst mistake that Hezekiah made was he became father to the heir to the throne of Judah during the 15 added years of his life. Ali možda jedna od najgorih stvari koja se desila ovom čoveku je što je rodio nasljednika svog trona, trona čoveka koji će sesti na tron Jude posle njegove smrti. 2 Kings chapter 21 verse 1 tells us that Manasseh was 12 years old when he succeeded his father as king when Hezekiah died. U drugoj kraljevima 21. glave prvi stih nam kaže da Manasije je imao 12 godina kada je seo na tron svoga oca posle njegove smrti. Manasa became the most evil king ever to reign in the nation of Judah. Manasije je bio jedan od najlošijih i najzlih, najviše zlih careva u Judi. Now, while Hezekiah was a godly leader and a successful leader most of his life, he did not finish well as a leader. Iako je Jezekija skoro čitao svoj život bio dobar i uspešan vođa, na kraju on nije dobro završio. It was because at the end of his life he began to think all of his successes and all of his riches were a result of his own success in his own doing. Jer na kraju svog života za svoj uspeh je pripisivao sve sebi za to i bogatstvo i uspeh koji je imao, mislio je da je to samo radi njega. He became very proud and did not remember that all that he had was a result of what God had done for him. Postao je veoma ohol, ponosit i zaboravio je da je sve ono što je postigao i dobio, u stvari je bio dar od samog gospoda. But even after all of his mistakes, God had mercy on him. When Hezekiah prayed and repented for his pride, God did um, allow him to end his life in a, a spiritual way. Ali ipak, uh, iako je bio i ohol, ohol uh, kada je molio i tražio od gospoda, gospod mu je izašao u susret i ponudio mu mogućnost da završi svoj život na jedan duhovan način. God's judgment did not come on Jerusalem while Hezekiah was still alive. It took place after he had already passed away. Boži sud nije se spustio na Jerusalim dok je Jezekija bio još živ. Taj sud je došao tek kasnije posle njegove smrti. But still it was a poor finish to the life of a leader that had accomplished so many great things for God. Ali ipak to je bio veoma loš završetak jednog vođe koji je puno toga dobroga uradio i postigao u svom životu. Now I want to contrast the end of Hezekiah's life with the end of the Apostle Paul's life. And let's read about this in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 6 through 8. Uh, uh, želim sada da uh, na neki način napravimo kontrast uh, života Jezekijenog e, i uporedimo ga sa uspešnim životom uh, apostola Pavla i uh, pročitat ćemo u prvoj Timoteovoj uh, četvrtoj glavi od uh, šestoga stiha. Paul says, for I am already being poured out as a drink offering and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Therefore, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give me on that day. And not to me only, but also to all who have loved his appearing. Jer ja se već izlivam kao žrtva izlivnica i vreme mog odlaska se primaklo. Dobru sam bitku izborio, trku sam dovršio, veru sam sačuvao, 
Osim toga, već mi je pripravljen venac pravednosti kojim će me nagraditi gospod pravedni sudija i ne samo mene, nego i sve oni koji, koji s ljubavlju čeznu da se on pojavi. Now we see a very different um, scenario in the life of Paul than in the life of Hezekiah. Paul was ready to end his life in a good way. Vidimo sasvim drugi scenario u životu apostola Pavla nego što je bio u životu Jezekije, jer apostol Pavle je dob, bio spreman i spremao se da dobro završi. Paul said, the time of my end, I'm about to die, it's close at hand, but I have finished my race, I have fought a good fight. Pavle kaže, vreme mog odlaska se približilo, um, ja završavam svoju trku, ali mogu reći da sam se borio, uh, da sam borio dobru bitku. Paul says, not only will I receive the crown of righteousness, but any one of you can receive the same crown and you can also finish your life well as a leader. Pavle kaže, ne samo da, da ću ja dobiti tu krunu pravednosti, nego i vi možete dobiti tu krunu pravednosti ako se dobro borite i ako dobro završite. Now, if we were to look at Paul's last two letters to Timothy, it shows us um, some of the secrets for finishing well and the advice that he gives to Timothy. Ako pogledamo um, dva uh, ta uh, pisma koje je Pavle Timoteju uputio, vidimo kako ga on ubuć, upućuje i daje mu te tajne, otkriva mu te tajne kako dobro završiti tr- trku i službu. Let's look at just a few of his um, challenges to Timothy. And the first one is 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 12. Pogledajmo nekoliko tih izazova koje Pavle uputio Timoteju, a prvu nalazimo u prvoj Timotejove četvrtoj glavi 12. stih. He says, don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in your speech, in your life, in love, in faith, and in purity. Neka te niko ne podcenjuje zbog tvoje mladosti, nego budi uzor vernima u govoru, u ponašanju, u ljubavi, u duhu, u veri, u čistoti. Chapter 4 verse 16 says, watch your life and doctrine closely. Persevere in them, because if you do, you will save both yourself and your hearers. U četvrtoj glavi 16. stih Pavle dalje kaže Dobro pazi kako živiš i kako poučavaš. Ustraj u tome jer čineći to spašćeš i sebe i one koji te slušaju. 1 Timothy 6 verse 11 says But you, man of God, flee from all this and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance and gentleness. Fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of the eternal life through which you were, oh, sorry, I'm reading too far, but through which you were called and when you made your confession in the presence of many witnesses. U prvoj Timotejove šestoj glavi jedanesti stih on kaže sledeće, a ti, Boži čoveče, beži od toga, teži za pravednošću, odanošću Bogu, verom, ljubavlju, istrajnošću, blagošću. Now, if we read through the Bible with a focus on leadership, we can observe many different uh, helpful ideas on the subject of leadership from the pages of the Bible. Ako uh, mi neprestano čitamo Bibliju sa fokusom na vođstvu, mi možemo otkriti uh, mnoge uh, stvari koje se tiču vođstva uh, i zato moramo pažljivo gledati u reč Božju. As I begin to study the Bible, I have made four very important observations about leadership principles. Kada sam studirao ovim stvarima, ja sam uh, zapazio uh, četiri važnja, uh, važna zapažanja koja se tiču vođstva. Number one, I have found that few leaders actually do finish well. 
na prvom mestu ili prvo zapaženje moje je da je nekoliko vodja stvarno završilo dobro. I've studied the lives of really hundreds of leaders in the Bible and and most of them, the majority of them did not finish well. Ja sam dosta uh, tih biblijskih likova studirao koji su bili vođe i, i primetio sam da mnogi od njih nisu dobro završili. That is because my second observation is that leadership, especially spiritual leadership, is very difficult. Uh, I na osnovu toga uh, došao sam do zaključka, uh, moje drugo zapaženje je da je uh, vodstvo, naročito duhovno vodstvo, veoma teško. But number three, the presence of God will give us the strength and enable us and uh, that is an essential agree, uh, ingredient of having a successful leadership. Sledeće moje zapažanje je da Božja prisutnost i ta prisutnost koja nam donosi uh, sve te uh, stvari uh, je u stvari suštinski sastojak uh, ako želimo da budemo uspešni vođe. We have the, the wonderful gift of the Holy Spirit dwelling on the inside of us. We have the opportunity to be given the power of the Holy Spirit, we must access this Spirit of God to give us the ability to lead God's people. Mi imamo stvarno tu izuzetnu mogućnost zbog Duha Svetoga koji prebiva u nama i, i moramo stvarno uh, doći do njega i, i do te snage kako bi kroz nas Duh Sveti predvodio svoj narod. I have had leaders tell me I do I don't feel like I need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. I don't need to uh, operate as a leader in the under the power of the Holy Spirit. Ja sam čak čuo i neke vođe koji su mi rekli ja i ne trebam svetog duha da, da na neki način vodim ljude pod uh, vođstvom i silom snagom svetoga duha. But my response to them is why would you not want to be filled with the Holy Ghost, with the Holy Spirit? Why would you not want the power and the ability that he gives to you to take advantage of what he has done for you? Ali moj odgovor tim ljudima jeste zašto vi ne bi hteli da budete ispunjeni svetim duhom, tom snagom i tom, tom silom koja nas može učiniti dobrim vođama. Observation number four is that spiritual leadership can make a big difference not only in our life but in the lives of those that follow our leading. I moje sljedeće zapažanje broj četiri je da duhovno vodstvo može stvarno napraviti razliku ne samo u mom ličnom životu, nego i u životu onih koji predvodimo. So now I, wa I want to ask a couple questions. I want to ask why do few leaders actually finish well? What stops them and what maybe helps them finish well in their life? Uh, I sada postavimo sebi pitanja, uh, šta je to što uh, omogućava ljudima da završe uh, dobro kao vođe, a šta to uh, njih sprečava da eventualno ne završe dobro kao vođe? Listen to the words of Proverbs chapter 22 verse 3 when it comes to uh, barriers and helps when it comes to finishing well. Uh, saslušajmo šta kaže u izrekama 22. glava 3. stih uh, što se tiče tih barijera ili prepreka uh, i, i mogućnosti da eventualno završimo dobro. Proverb says that sensible people will see trouble coming and avoid it, but an unthinking person will walk right into it and regret it later. Pametan čovjek vidi zlo i sklanja se, a ludi idu dalje i bivaju kašnjeni. Now I want to share with you first of all six barriers, six things that will prevent us from finishing well. 
Želim da podelim s vama tih šest barijera koje nam često puta sprečavaju da ne završimo dobro. See, we need to look ahead in our lives and not walk right into these barriers. We need to avoid being trapped by these problems that could come into our life. Mi trebamo gledati napred da prolazimo kroz te barijere, a ne da budemo uhvaćeni u zamku koja se sprema na nas upravo zbog tih barijera. Barrier number one is our finances, the use of our finances and abuse of our finances. Barijera ili prepreka boroj jedan su financije, a tu mislimo pod njihovom ispravnom upotrebom ili zloupotrebom financija. Leaders, especially those that make important decisions covering finances, must be careful to not incorrectly handle those finances and use them incorrectly. Vodje koje donose odluke naročito moraju biti pašljivi što se tiče financija kako bi te financije upotrebljavali na ispravan način a ne da ih zloupotrebljavaju. Finances is something that can Trip, cause a leader to stumble and finish poorly if it's not handled correctly. Financije mogu prouzrokovati da se i dobra vođa spotakne ako one nisu upotrebljavane korektno, ispravno. There are many leaders that have fallen to some issue involving money. Uh, we even find this in the pages of the Bible. Postoje neke vođe koje su financije, a to je zapisano čak i na stranicama Biblije, zloupotrebljavali. In the book of Acts chapter 5 we read about Ananias and Sapphira and how they had said they sold a piece of property, given the money, but they had given all of it, but they lied to the Holy Spirit. U delima pete glave govori se o Anani i Safiri koji su prodali, deo, koji su prodali svoje imanje i deo od tog, te prodaje dali crkvi, ali su lagali što se tiče tih financija. So the way you handle your money, the way you are a good steward of what God has given to you is very important in finishing well as a leader. Način na koji se obhodiš prema financijama, način na koji ti rukovodiš financijama je veoma važan za tebe kao vođu. The second barrier is power and the possibility of abusing your position of power. Sljedeća barijera ili prepreka jeste moć, a to je njena zloupotreba, zloupotreba tvoje pozicije. Leaders who are effective in ministry must have positions of power and influence over those that are following their leading. Vođa koji je na određenoj poziciji ima određenu moć, određen uticaj. But when a leader is put in a position of authority, the temptation to abuse that authority is very real in their life. Kada je vođa postavljen na određenu poziciju, ta ta zloupotreba veoma lako može doći i veoma lako čovjek može da sklizne u to. And so the leader that rises to the top often has privileges because of their new status and they receive praise from people that normally would not give them the, the accolades or the praise. Vođa koji je na određenoj poziciji dobija novi status, moći i uticaja, ljudi ga na neki način slede i hvale i tu može doći do zloupotrebe. So we must have people in our life that will hold us accountable and so that if we are treating 
other people poorly, they will acknowledge that and tell us about it. Zato mi moramo imati u svom životu ljude koji će nas držati uh, odgovornima, a naročito način na koji se mi ponašamo prema ljudima uh, koji nas slede. Okay, barrier number three is pride. Pride can lead to a downfall in the life and the leadership of a person. Uh, prepreka broj 3 to je ponos uh, a ponos često puta vodi u, do propasti naročito vođe koji ga ima u svom životu as a leader we must be balanced in our life we must have a respect for ourselves but don't think too highly of ourselves kao vođa mi moramo imati određeni balans, ravnotežu, dakle moramo znati ko smo, ali ne smemo u svom ponosu previše uh, misliti o sebi, nego ostati u toj ravnoteži. On one hand, it's important that we're not too hard on ourselves, but on the other hand, we have to recognize that everything we have and we have done has been given to us by God. S jedne strane, ne trebamo biti veoma uh, uh, prisni, teški prema sebi, a s druge strane moramo uh, biti svesni da sve što jesmo i što imamo, to smo dobili od gospoda Boga. Again, King Hezekiah is a great example of this. He got to the point where he thought he had accomplished all these things by himself, but it was God that had done it for him. Ponovo spominjemo Jezekiju, on je bio uspešan, ali došao je do te tačke u svom životu kada je mislio da je on to sve sam postigao, a u stvari sve je to dobio kao dar od Boga. Barrier number four in the life of a leader is sex or in inappropriate relationships in our life. Uh, barijera broj četiri ili prepreka broj četiri jeste seks, odnosno ti neprikladni odnosi koji mogu da nastanu u životu vođa. Inappropriate relationships have been a major downfall both in the Bible and in the church world. Neprikladni odnosi su bili uh, prouzrokovatelji r- raznih padova kako zapisanih u Bibliji, tako i u crkvenom svetu. There are so many leaders even today that have been brought down in leadership in churches because of inappropriate relationships and sin in this area. Um, mnoge vođe i u današnjem uh, svetu su pale upravo zbog ovih neprikladnih odnosa i upravo zbog tog uh, neprikladnog greha seksa u svom životu. The life of Joseph in the book of Genesis gives us a great example of having integrity when it comes to sexual sin. Oh. U prvoj Mojsijevoj nam govori jedan primjer o, o života čoveka imenom Josip, o, o njegovom integritetu što se tiče njegovog o, seksualnog o, života. When he was tempted to fall into this sin, he said, how can I sin against my God? Kada je bio on neprikladno izazvan uh, i kušan da uh, padne u ovaj greh, on je rekao sam sebi kako da učinim ovo i sagrešim pred svojim gospodom. On the other hand, we see that David, King David, his sin with Bathsheba was a very important point in his life where his leadership never recovered from. S druge strane, kralj David, koji je sagrešio sa Batšebom, taj greh seksualni je u stvari bio njegov pad u vođstvu od kojega se on nikad nije u potpunosti oporavio. A barrier number five is um, critical issues with involving our family, either between spouses or our children. Ta barijera ili prepreka broj pet jest su ta kritična pitanja, naročito u porodici, da li to između suprožnika ili ostalim članovima u porodici. Problems between a husband and a wife or parents and children can destroy a leader's ministry. 
problemi između muža i žene ili između roditelja i dece mogu da unište vođu i vođstvo. What is needed most is biblical values lived out regarding uh, our relationships in our families. Ono što je uh, kritički potrebno, to, je, uh, to su biblijski, uh, biblijske vrednosti da ih živimo naročito u našim porodičnim odnosima. We see this again in the life of David, his own family. His sons Amnon and Absalom and and another son just the uh, the sins of the father carried on to the sons below him. Vidimo to u primjeru kralja Davida uh, i njegovih sinova na primjer Amnona i Absalona i drugo, drugih sinova. Dakle njegov greh uh, na neki način se prolongirao i na njegove sinove. And finally barrier number six is the idea of a leader that is plateauing they are just kind of cruising along in their ministry uh, barriera, uh, barriera broj šest jeste uh, plato ili na neki način kada uh, vođa samo, samo uh, ide kroz svoju službu this is a leader whose strength has become their weakness because they think they can just minister at the same level without being empowered by the Holy Spirit. To su ljudi koji idu kroz svoju službu i misle da uvek mogu u svojoj snazi da, da služe bez da uvek traže snagu i uh, osnaženje od samog gospoda. Maybe this is a preacher who has preached so many sermons that they can just rely on past messages and instead of praying and studying before each time. Možda je to primjer uh, propovednik koji je propovedao već puno poruka, propovedi, tako da se on oslanja na te prošle propovedi umjesto da uh, traži lice gospodnje i svežu poruku od Boga. Once again we see David in 2 Samuel chapter 11 verse 1 in the latter part of his reign it says when kings go to battle he decided not to go into battle but to stay back by himself. Ponovo vidimo primjer uh, uh, kralja Davida u drugoj Samuelovoj 11. glavi kada su ostali kraljevi išli u boj u, u rat uh, on je ostao da se odmara uh, uh, i, i da uh, sve uzima olako. I'm sure David said I have fought many battles before this i have won many victories i can just take it easy now but that's when he finished poorly as a result of that siguran sam da je david pomislio ja sam se borio puno ratova i puno sam pobjeda izvojevao sad mogu malo i da odmaram i siguran sam da je to njegovo vodstvo tu upravo počelo da ide silaznom putanjem na dole now i have focused on the negative side of finishing well or finishing poorly let me focus on some five or five characteristics of leaders who finish well dosta sam govorio o tim negativnim preprekama kako može nam to sprečiti da završimo dobro ali sad se dakle usredsredimo na nešto pozitivno da stvarno završimo dobro kao vođe not all five of these appear in the life of every leader, but uh, at least several of these characteristics should be a part of a, a successful leader. Pet ovih karakteristika koje ćemo spomenuti da se dobro završi kao vođa, oni se ne pojavljuju kod svih vođe uh, kao svih pet, ali barem uh, neke se pojavljuju u životima tih uspešnih vođa. Characteristic number one is a leader must continue to have a relationship with God even to the very end. Karakteristika broj jedan da uspešan vođa mora da nastavi vezu zajedništvo sa Bogom sve do kraja. Daniel in the Old Testament is a leader that shows us how it's important to continue every day to have a relationship with God. 
Daniel je izuzetan primjer kako jedan čovjek može da održi tu vezu sa gospodom sve do kraja i da bude uspešan kao vođa. In the New Testament we read the writings of Peter and Paul and John demonstrating through their writings their close relationship with God even to the end of their life. Uh, u Novom Zavetu Petar, Jovan i drugi apostoli su, su o svojim pisanjima u stvari naznačili kako je to važno imati tu zajedniš, to zajedništvo sa Bogom sve do kraja. When we read the letters of Peter and Paul and John, we see in their writings their trust in God, their relationship with God is, is at a, such a close level. U tim pisanjima uh, koje je pisao Petar, Jovan, Pavle, vidimo uh, kako je to zajedništvo sa Bogom i njihovo pouzdanje u Boga uh, bilo veoma blisko njima sve do kraja. My friend, you will never get too old where you do not need to spend time in the presence of God each and every day. Moj prijatelju, ti nikad ne možeš da ostariš, a da uh, pritom nemaš to uh, prisno zajedništvo sa gospodom sve do kraja. I found that the older I get, the more time I enjoy being in the presence of God, the more time I, I enjoy praying and studying his word. Ja primećujem sam uh, kod sebe, čim sam stariji, to više uživam uh, da provodim više vremena sa gospodom, čitajući, razmišljajući, moleći se. Number two, leaders who finish well maintain a position of learning, a learning posture in their life. Uh, karakteristika broj dva, kako bi... Uh, uspešne vođe završili dobro je da uh, treba vođa održati taj položaj učenja sve do kraja. Again, Daniel is a classic example of a leader who when he was quite old was still studying the scriptures and learning things from it. Klasičan primjer jeste Daniel, iako je čak i ostario, on je još uvek studirao uh, ta uh, pisma i nije prestao da uči. Because of this, Daniel was able to intercede and pray for his people and he was a, uh, able to write some of the classic prophecies in the scriptures. Zbog toga on je mogao da se moli za svoj narod i, i da studira uh, ta pisma i čak i da piše ta klasična uh, proročanstva čak i za u buduće vremena. Paul's closing words to Timothy in 2 Timothy chapter 4 show that he was still learning even when he was close to death. Uh, Pavle kada piše u drugoj Timotejevoj četvrtoj glavi, uh, on piše da uh, čak i pred samu smrt on se uči. He said, Timothy, when you come, don't forget to bring my books. I still want to learn, even though I know my life is coming to an end. Timotej, kada dođeš da me posjetiš, nemoj zaboraviti da doneseš sa sobom moje knjige, jer ja još uvijek želim da čitam i da učim, iako znam da se moj život približava kraju. Number three, leaders need discipline of all kinds in their life in order to finish well. Uh, broj, uh, četir, uh, broj tri karakteristika to su razne discipline. Vođa treba razne discipline u svom životu. Toward the end of his life, Paul was probably about 65 or 70 years old and he was writing to Timothy who was about 30 or 35 years old. Pavle pred kraj svog života uh, ima okolo 65-70 godina i uh, piše mladom Timotiju koji možda ima 30-35 godina. Listen to what he writes to Timothy in 1 Timothy chapter 4 verses 7 and 8 again. I pogledajmo šta on piše mladom Timoteju u 1. Timotejevoj 4. glavi 7. i 8. stih. He said, take time and trouble to keep yourself spiritually fit. Bodily fitness has limited value, but spiritual fitness is of unlimited value, for it holds promise for both the present life and for the life to come. 
Kloni se izmišljenih priča koje skrnave ono što je sveto, priča svojstvenih starim ženama, a vežbaj se u odanosti Bogu, jer telesno vežbanje malo čemu koristi, a odanost Bogu korisna je u svakom pogledu, jer obećava život sadašnji i budući. Leaders should take the time to assess their state of discipline in their life. There's things that they must continue to do to be disciplined in their spiritual life. Vodja treba stvarno da pokaže veliku pažnju prema disciplinama u svom životu, jer neke stvari treba održati u disciplini neprestano. In addition to daily prayer and reading the Bible, we ought to have times of silence before God, fasting at certain times in our life, even vacation time with family. Pored redovnog čitanja, razmišljanja, molitve, mi trebamo redovno i da se postimo, a ponekad i da napravimo i imamo možda izlete i slobodno vreme sa svojom porodicom. Ok, karakteristik number four je having a lifetime perspective on ministry. Karakteristika broj četiri, a to je vođa treba da ima jednu životnu perspektivu. We gain this perspective by studying the lives of leaders in the pages of the Bible. Mi dobijamo ovu perspektivu time što gledamo i čitamo iz pisma. Hebrews chapter 13 verses 7 and 8 tell us the importance of doing these things. Jevrejima 13. glava 7. i 8. stih nam govori koliko je to važno u našim životima. It says, remember those who rule over you, who have spoken the word of God to you, whose faith you follow, considering the outcome of their conduct. For Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Sećajte se onih koji poučavaju među vama, koji su vam govorili Božju reč, posmatrajući ishod njihovog načina života, oponašajte njihovu veru. Isus Hristos je juče i danas isti i u svim dobima. By studying the lives of leaders in the Bible, it helps us to understand more fully just how God does shape a leader over their lifetime. Studiranjem života vođa nam pomaže na koji način Bog oblikuje život svojih vođa. And then lastly, characteristic number five is the importance of having a mentor in our life. Konačno, ta peta karakteristika je važnost mentorstva u našem životu. Leaders who finish well will have important people that come alongside of them and help them as a leader. Ljudi, vođe koji završavaju dobro, su vođe koji imaju pored sebe ljude koji na neki način im pomažu da završe dobro. When a leader is younger, they will... It's good to have a relationship with an older person that can help them to become a better leader. Kada je osoba mlađa, dobro je da ima za takvu osobu stariju koja će joj pomoći da u svom životu napreduje. And then when a leader is older and they have experienced many things, it's good for them to be a mentor and help somebody that is a younger leader than they are. I onda kada je osoba starija i uspješna u svom vođstvu, onda je dobro da ona bude kao mentor mlađoj osobi i da pomogne mlađoj osobi u svom napredovanju i životu. Find someone who can hold you accountable in your spiritual life and your ministry and they can warn and advise you to help you to be a better leader. 
pronađi osobu u svom životu koja ćeš biti odgovoran ili odgovorna i koja će ti dati dobre savete i koja će te držati odgovornim tokom čitavog tvog života. So I close with this question. Can you finish well as a leader? Can it really be done? Završavam ovo sa pitanjem, da li ćeš ti završiti dobro kao vođa, da li će to biti postignuto u tvom životu? The answer is yes, yes you can. Daniel did it, Paul did it, you also can be an effective leader. A odgovor jeste da, Daniel je bio uspešan kao vođa, Pavle je bio uspešan kao vođa i ti si uspešan i bit ćeš uspešan kao vođa i završit ćeš dobro. My friend, you can finish well as a Bible-centered leader if you will apply the word of God to your life and learn from the scriptures. Moj prijatelju, ti ćeš završiti dobro ako stvarno učiš iz Božje reči i primenjuješ te principe Božje reči u svom životu. Let's pray together and ask the Lord to help us and thank Him for what He's already done for us. Pomolimo se zajedno i predajmo se u njegovu ruke i zahvalimo mu za sve što je On uradio za nas. Lord, I thank you for being with us these last 10 weeks. I thank you for all of the uh, scriptures that you have shared with us to help us to be more effective leaders. Gospode, zahvalni smo ti što si bio sa nama ovih proteklih deset nedelja, što si nam pokazao stihove i što nam pomažeš da budemo efektivni i dobre vođe. Lord, we're not without hope. Because we have your word to turn to, and in your word we find the principles that are needed to do the things that are needed of us in our life as leaders. Gospode, mi nismo bez nade, jer tvoja reč nam daje nadu i ti nam pomažeš da budemo uspešni kao vođe. I pray for each and every person that watches these videos that you would be with them, that you would empower them, that you would encourage them through your word. Molim te za sve koji ovo gledaju da im pomogneš, da ih osnažiš i da im daš tvoj svoj reč i da budu uspešni kao vođe. We will continue to pray for them and we bless them in your name, Jesus. Amen. Mi ćemo nastaviti da se molimo za njih i mi ih blagosiljamo u Tvoje sveto ime Isus. Amen. We thank you so much for persevering and watching to the very end. We ask the Lord to bless you and keep you in your going and in your coming. We ask these things in the name of the Lord. Amen. God bless you. Mi vam zahvaljujemo što ste stvarno s nama istrajali i mi se molimo da gospod ide sa vama kada budete izlazili, kada budete ulazili i u sve dane vašeg života da budete uspešni kao vođe. Amen.